whenever you go in the world and whenever you see an Ahmadi, you feel you are at home. And it really was as if he had come home. The chief prosecutor of the International Criminal Court, Karim Khan, arrived in Bangladesh for a four-day official visit. He was on a mission to investigate possible crimes against humanity by the Myanmar military which forced hundreds of thousands of Rohingya into neighbouring Bangladesh. Khan later visited the Ahmadiyya Muslim headquarters in Bakshi Bazar, Dhaka. The hospitality of Bangladesh, the kindness of Bangladeshis is so special. They have a very gentle nature. And I have experienced last year when I came for the first time that uh, that kindness. But when you met me downstairs, uh, you were so kind and said, welcome home. So it's definitely we feel at home. And I think this is the beauty of uh, of the Jamaat and also blessing of Khalafat. That under this umbrella, under the shade of that protection, we feel at home wherever we go. The day before, Khan had a special meeting with Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Why I'm here, Bangladesh has the distinction of being one of the very few countries in Asia to voluntarily accept the Rome Statute. The Rome Statute creates the International Criminal Court. About a million Rohingya live in a camp situated in Cox's Bazar, the world's largest refugee camp in the south of Bangladesh. Khan praised the open-door policy which allowed hundreds of thousands of Rohingya flee persecution in Myanmar. When I spoke to the Prime Minister, she also said that when they were confronted with the exodus of people who are Rohingya and Muslim, there was different advice being given. And she said that we had this experience, she said myself and my family, that when they were the Pakistan were committing the troops of Pakistan, unfortunately behaved so shamelessly in Bangladesh and committed so many crimes, we were given refuge in India. So she said, I couldn't, from a moral perspective, do anything other than give refuge to save the lives of people because also many people were raped. This was Karim Khan's second official visit to Bangladesh, but his first to the national headquarters of the Jamaat. During the meeting, he mentioned being impressed by a recent MTA documentary about Bangladesh. He praised the efforts of the MTA team, saying even more documentaries of this nature should be produced. And I think the MTA team, you were also part of it, I hope, in terms of the video you prepared in, uh, on Bangladesh, which was so beautifully interposed with reflections of Khalif Tumsi Rabi, seeing the richness of the country and also in the Chittagong Hill Tracks and others, you look at the diversity of Buddhism and then there were other areas, there were Hindus, the, of course the majority are, are, are Muslims and the culture, the cuisine and other areas. The Bangladesh studio of MTA, you have raised the bar, I think, everywhere. It's one of the nicest I've seen. So you can't now disappoint all the viewers by going back to the old standard. That standard is now... Well, this that, platform, that, uh, stand, that old standard, you have shredded it. Despite his busy schedule, it seems as though Mr. Khan feels most at home when he is around fellow Ahmadi Muslims, wherever they are in the world. Atif Rashid, MTA News.